And today we're working with 10 inch squares of purple to make a beautiful purple quilt. And I cannot wait to show you. These four do not go in a quilt just as they are. We are now going to cut them all up. Woohoo! And welcome back to Where Wendy Creates, Where Wendy Travels. Today we are uh, working with 10 inch squares that we have cut out of yardage of fabric and fat quarters of fabric. And we're going to be cutting them. Uh, looks like we're having three inches off of the center. We're slicing down the first two and three inches off of the other side, we are slicing down as well. So we have a six inch strip in the middle. And the fun begins. Okay, my friends, so what we did was we cut, we put the six inch ruler right on top. We had the three exactly here. So we have three inches here, three inches here. Then we flip the whole thing around and cut it once again with the three inches here and the three inches here with the ruler in the center flipped around. So let's grab that ruler. And you can see it's a uh, very, very nice um, ruler. You can get these rulers just about anywhere. Set it that way, set it that way, make your trims. And now let's watch some magic happen. Wow. Does that look completely different or does that look completely different? Would you have thought that this block came from four 10 inch squares? I cannot wait to show you how an entire bed full of these turns out. Now the next blocks we're doing, it's going to be the same purple throughout, but we're doing different uh, 10 inch squares with a different pattern for the purple. So very, very excited to uh, show you the next step and the next block. Okay, and we've laid out some blocks to take a look at the beautiful fabrics that we are working with. Okay, so now that we've cut our blocks up, we're getting ready to sew them together. And in order to sew them together, what we have uh, started doing, and I wanted to show you, is we're pinning down the seams so that the seams align perfectly and they lay flat as we sew them. And we're gonna do our quarter inch seams on our purple quilt. And this is just so gorgeous. I don't know, purple just does something for me. It's just such a beautiful, happy, perky, pastel purple color. And there's our pins we're just taking out. So our seams are laying flat and everything is going smoothly, keeping our quarter inch seam. And we are working on our Husqvarna Viking machine. So our foot, as you notice, is a different quarter inch than what you see on our different feet on our different machines. When you start a quilt with one machine, finish that same quilt with that same machine, machine so you have the same accurate quarter inch seam all the way through. Beautiful. Okay, my friends and now we have just finished up ironing our block and you can see how absolutely gorgeous this is and I cannot wait to bring you back and show you all of the blocks put together and then we'll lay it out together and see how she's going to look and 
then we'll watch it being put together. Lovely. And we are ironing our stack of blocks and then we'll be taking them to the uh, cutting board and we'll be cutting them with our six inch ruler and then coming right on back here or over to the sewing machine to then sew them up. And we're ironing our seams. We gotta make sure we get that point down. So we usually touch it, go all around, do all the other seams, and then we come back with another hot little spritz and make sure that center is laying nicely. How nice is this quilt gonna be? I am so in love with it, and breaking it up with that six inch ruler really, really makes it pop. Okay, and we have our next uh, four patch, 10 inch uh, squares sewn together on the cutting board. And we've got our six inch ruler. We're gonna put that three right in the middle. So we have three inches on either side of our middle line. And we're gonna go ahead and hold that ruler down and gently and gently run up that uh, six inch ruler. So we have three inches on one side and then we're gonna turn our body around, run it up on the other side, have three inches on this side. A little bit awkward with the hands, go slow. And then we've got our cut. Now we're gonna turn our ruler without touching our fabric. We're gonna turn our ruler on the side, put the three inch in the center and we're gonna weight that down, double check that we're still on that center three to where we have three inches on either side. And then we're gonna turn our body around and go on one side of the ruler, cutting our three inch. And then go on our other side of the ruler, making sure we're cutting right at our three inch. Okay, and our purple quilt is definitely coming together. So I'm very excited about that. We've got them all cut out and we have them in stacks to sew them back together. So we are uh, feeling really good about this. And again, showing you what these blocks are gonna look at, look like is this is a 10 by 10 block cut with a six inch ruler and creating these fabulous, fabulous blocks. So these are, are the same here in this stack. And we have the flowers. We have a darker fabric print here. Whoopsie, sorry. And look at these. I'm just so much in love with this purple quilt. I am ecstatic. Cannot wait to show you the final piece in our upcoming show and tell. We're matching at the seams. And we're just sticking pens in our seams. So we make sure they lay correctly when we start sewing.
your pens in like this, not only are you guaranteed to have both the underneath and the top seams laying straightly, but you also make sure that your uh, connections are exactly correct. And it's faster than when you go to sew, you're not constantly uh, self-doubting or realigning the pieces. So using pens is definitely a uh, great way to make the perfect quilt. And voila, here we go. We have our block all sewn together and ready to go press. Beautiful. And, and look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect corners. Love it.